Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and do a good news slash blessings reading, okay? What good news can you expect? What blessings are coming in, okay? If that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into this. So when I first got into the energy, I heard starlight. All right, so I don't know. That might be significant for somebody. That could be somebody's nickname or something like that. Um, but I do feel like you're going to be shining more, Gemini. I feel like... You're going to have a sense of joy, just like this dolphin energy brings. I feel like you're going to feel positive and optimistic and happy. We see that with the sun, too. There's a sense of healing. There's a sense of warmth that's coming into your life. Maybe the weather's starting to get better or more ideal for you, Gemini. Um, there could just also be this energy of an illumination that's happening within you. <clears throat> Again, like a starlight, star bright I don't know, first star I see tonight, I wish I w may, I wish I might. Some, some, maybe some of you guys are going to see like a shooting star and make a wish and then that's going to happen, okay? I am getting like a very positive energy, like a really big wish fulfillment or just feeling like everything is kind of starting to fall into place. There's this energy of like a weight lifting or you're not feeling so heavy. Maybe you were very burdened because I'm getting like the energy of like somebody who's, I, I'm seeing somebody who has like a backpack on and they're just filling it with rocks. Okay, more rocks are getting put on and your shoulders just getting pushed down further. Like, so there could have been a lot of pressure that was happening in your life. Okay, we do see the dolphin that wanted to come out. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I wasn't going to do these cards first, but it feels very significant, especially with that sun in the background. Then we have the sun. It says investments pay off 401k harvest a financial gain usually coming from something from your past, okay, Gemini? So there could be some kind of money that you're not aware that you're getting, you're supposed to get, that you're going to get. This could be, um, I'm getting the energy of like a loan getting paid off or a loan getting decreased. Uh, there could be a 401k that you forgot that you have that maybe you look into or maybe you're notified about this, okay? You could have invested some money into something too and it's going to be paying off. I'm also for some reason getting an inheritance with this dolphin energy, so take it as it resonates. But I do feel like there's going to be some kind of harvest and you're going to be happy about this. You're going to be jumping for joy. So we do see financial increases that are one of your blessings, one of your positive um good news that's coming in is yes there's some kind of financial increase or some kind of financial blessing okay i want to pull a yes or no card that's the cards i wanted to pull first so i'm not going to think of anything gemini this is just for you and you go ahead and think of a question okay so what is the answer to gemini's question please in this good news blessings reading please what is the answer this one okay so we will look at that in a little bit. It's usually done towards the middle of the reading, guys. Okay, so, because I get those comments like, when was the card turned? It's like, you didn't watch the whole reading, did you? Because um, <laughs> I do it in the middle, all right? So choose a new direction, Gemini. Um, there could be something where maybe you're going to choose to go in a new direction, and this is really positive for you. Let's continue with the tea leaves. <clears throat> We're just going to pull a whole bunch of cards and just see what we get, okay? Some positive good news. What's happening? Surprises, blessings, positive energy that's happening for Gemini. We have the basket coming out, okay? Recognition, reward for merit, good karma, paying it forward, and something pays off. Yeah, so Gemini, it really does feel like there's going to be a financial increase or something in your material wealth that's increasing, okay? It's like good times are ahead. Some of you guys are going to also start eating better and you're going to start seeing those results. You might be eating better with the combination of getting more active, Gemini, maybe getting out in the sun, and this is really going to boost your energy, okay? It's going to help you. I'm hearing like your brain is going to function better. You're going 
going to function better. There's something about that. Some of you guys could have had like seasonal depression or something, okay? And now with the sun coming out, you're just feeling better. That is for some of you guys. You might be able to take a little vacation too because I'm kind of getting travel with the sun and the dolphin energy. Some of you guys might have a vacation offered to you. There could be some family that reaches out to you and wants you to come visit or something like that, okay? Uh, some of you guys might go on like a little vacation with your boo. Take it as it resonates. Um, either way, I just feel like there's some kind of increase in the material abundance around you, okay? There's definitely giving this energy of harvest that's coming through. And Gemini, I do feel like you've earned a lot of this through your good karma. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be like scaling burning buildings and saving babies or anything like that. It's just that you go out of your way every day to do something nice for somebody, be it let somebody skip in line, um, you know, I don't know, okay, open the door for somebody. If you see somebody struggling with their groceries, helping them put their groceries in the car. Uh, some of you guys, I'm hearing free legal advice. So some of you guys could be lawyers or uh, doctors or um, therapists or something, but you're giving free advice out to people. That's for somebody, okay? Um, and yeah, that makes the world a better place. I don't know, Gemini, I'm just getting the energy like you make the world a better place, okay? And because of this, there's some good karma that's coming your way. Something that you're doing is going to pay off too. You're going to get some kind of recognition here. You've been working really hard on this. For some of you guys, you've been working on this for a long time. And maybe you haven't been seeing the results that you've hoped to see. I definitely feel like that's about to change, okay? Some of you guys are definitely going to get some bread. I keep noticing this bread in here, okay? So a blessing that's coming your way, some bread, Gemini. For some of you guys, there could be this energy of learning how to make bread. I don't know, that, that could be a blessing for somebody, okay? Take these readings as they resonate. Let's get something else out here for Gemini. Blessings coming their way. Guys, you cannot make this up. What the hell? The bag coming out I'm telling you and my nose is starting to itch so I honestly I'm getting in this blessings reading yeah look dog far away for some of you guys there's this energy here of somebody who's been watching you somebody has been watching what you do somebody has been paying attention this could be at your job if you do something on social media that could be the case if you do something out in your community that could be the case. Some of you guys might have went and been, you were interviewed or you went on a podcast or you know, something like that, okay? That's obviously not for everybody. But I feel for everybody, there's been some kind of sense of exposure here. Somebody has been watching what you're doing. I'm hearing the great escape too. So some of you guys have been trying to leave a situation behind and you're gonna finally get everything in place that you need to. And there could be somebody, um, that has been kind of helping you or guiding you from a distance. For some of you, this could be spirit guides. It says spirit guides, long distance relationship, um, an ex wanting to reach out, but mm, that would only be for those that would consider that a blessing, okay? And a distant friend is thinking of you. I just feel like with it coming out with this bag energy, there's something here where somebody, they really do wanna collab or they wanna work with you. So this is a blessing, this is good news. Some of you have been wanting to leave a nine to five behind for a while, and there could be an opportunity that's coming in that's going to allow that, okay? Some of you have been placed in somebody's path or they've been placed in your path, either way, y'all are in each other's like basic energy is what I'm getting so yeah somebody is watching you or somebody is paying attention to you Gemini somebody is thinking about you okay but I'm also seeing this energy of strong spiritual support so if you're like there's no way that anybody is watching me um yeah it could be just strong spiritual support that you're getting right now okay again there's karma that's coming through from some kind of good deed that you have done all right Let's get something else. Guys, what? Who is this reading for? The money path. So we have the dolphin talking about finances, the basket talking about finances, the bag talking about finances, the money path talking about finances, and then we have the victory card that wanted to come out. Okay. So this reading is definitely not going to be for everybody, Gemini, but a blessing coming in is money for sure. And I feel like you're meant to be wealthy, Gemini. You are meant to have some kind of um, income that is, it feels like it's um, like ever going, okay? Like this income just rolls in. Some of you guys make money while you're on vacation. You make money while you sleep, depending on if you sell some kind of product or if you've done any kind of investments, okay? Like cryptocurrency or you work the stock market, something like that, Gemini. Yeah, there could be a big break that's about to happen for sure. 
okay? Beating the odds, competition, victory in some endeavor. Okay, I want to pull from some different cards. Because holy mo- And look, I didn't even notice, guys. I did not even notice what was on the bottom of the deck. The money card. Come on. Come on. And some of you guys need this because you've been in bitch, I'm drowning mode, okay? Some of you guys have been just- I'm hearing just wrecked with financial debt, okay? Some of you guys were on the verge of losing things, losing your house, losing your car, um, losing in benefits, maybe health insurance or something like that, Gemini. So some of you guys are really needing some kind of money to come through, and I feel like it's about to. Some of you, this is not for everybody, guys. This is definitely not for everybody, but some of you guys are going to have your money grow so much that you're going to be in a completely different situation than you were. And some of you, this might happen overnight. If you play the lotto, um, if you've entered any kind of sweepstakes, anything like that, I definitely see that there could be something where you're winning something. If you competing for in something, I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe you're competing in some kind of competition and there's a cash prize that could definitely be coming through. Okay, if you've entered your artwork, you've entered something in some kind of competition, you're going to see some kind of results, okay? For somebody, there's going to be some money that comes through on 11-11. I know that we're only in August, guys, but I got to give the messages as I'm getting them, okay? So something might come through on 11-11 and you're going to think back to this reading and be like, damn, okay, that is for somebody, for sure. This could also definitely be for a May Gemini with V being may and or being five and roman numerals but take it as it resonates it's all, for all gemini's for sure i feel it very strongly this this energy is so powerful there's no way that it's just for like one person okay i feel um yeah okay it says a path with money is waiting for you to find it following the yellow brick road an opportunity is heading towards you and you may find money okay it's a gift so gemini some of you guys might find money while you're out walking around you could be in the middle of nowhere and you look down and there's like a hundred dollar bill or something okay i do feel like that is a blessing that is a gift from the divine okay so don't go turn it into your police station i mean again every time i get that message because it doesn't happen very often, but when I do, I do have to use a disclaimer here. If you find like, I don't know, $50,000 in a suitcase in the woods, you might want to turn that in, Gemini, but you do you, it's up to you, okay? Definitely. You're like, uh, Jessica, <laughs> I will do as I want, right? Yeah. It's up to you what you do with that money, okay? But I feel like after a certain point, it's like there are probably some people that are looking for that money and you don't want to be on the other end of that. That's for somebody, okay? But I feel like for the majority of you, it's just going to be like a hundred, a couple twenty, something like that. Yeah, you're going to be walking. It's going to be walking and you're going to see some kind of money on the ground. That is for somebody, okay? I'm also getting the energy of like paying it forward. So some of you might, um, a blessing could be that you're like, you know, somebody pays for your groceries or somebody pays for your order your food order or something like that. Let's get some more blessings because we know there's money coming, obviously, okay? Can we get some something else out here, blessing-wise, for Gemini? We have the key coming out, okay? I told you, Gemini, somebody has... Now, I'm getting two messages. For some of you, somebody has been watching you, okay, again, and I feel like they want to approach you with the opportunity. This person could already have a lot of finances where they have a lot of energy to invest in somebody, okay? So somebody might want to be like, here, I'm going to help you start your business, continue your business, do whatever it is that you're trying to do. I'm going to invest this money in you. For others of you, this could be somebody that could be a company. This could be a, a spokesperson for a company or a recruiter for a company or something that's you've gotten on their radar somehow and they're just trying to figure out what's the best offer. They know they want to come towards you. They're just trying to figure out what is the best offer. Okay. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to name this reading because it just feels like money. Like you're about to be dripping in wealth. That is for somebody. It's not for everybody guys, but it feels that way. <clears throat> and if you are not in this energy yet and you're like, there's no finances that are coming towards me, I feel like that's what this card is for. Um, a path with money is waiting for you to find it, okay? Some of you guys have some kind of product or something that you want to sell. Um, this could be anything. I'm getting, honestly, like some kind of canned food like jams or jellies, um, pickled products or something, okay? Maybe you make a spice rub for some of you guys. Um, you could make your own coconut oil or shea butter or, or cocoa butter or something. I'm getting the energy of somebody who puts something in a jar that they sell. So 
take that as it resonates for you, okay? Or something that you, you, you jar up, you package up and you sell it. That is for somebody. That is going to kick off. You could end up selling your product to somebody that you're not expecting. This could be somebody that, you know, they're either famous or again, they just have a lot of finances and suddenly they're your number one customer or they're, you know, shouting you out with this recognition energy and then bam, the bag, okay? Some of you guys do nails or do hair or skin products, okay? I'm getting that energy. I'm also getting the energy of people who create things with wood or clay, something very earthy about what you do. I'm just getting like my creators, the ones that, you know, you create something, you create a product or you put a service out there. It, it feels like something is about to pop off. Now there's been a door that's been locked. So this is definitely new energy coming in for you, Gemini. You have not been able to open this door and now this door is opening. Now the second message I got with this is you guys are going to happen upon some kind of opportunity. Maybe you've been researching, Gemini. Excuse me, maybe you've been researching Maybe you've been looking for ways to make extra money or looking for ways to launch something, launch a website, launch a business, okay? Maybe you've put your, uh, submitted your work or sent out prototypes to people. I'm getting that kind of energy. Those who have definitely been putting in the work, okay? You've been putting in a lot of energy because we see that with the dolphin. This is something that you have been working really hard on with that victory card underneath it. You have had to beat some kind of odds. You have had to show some kind of perseverance. It has not just been gravy and rainbows the entire time. Even if people from the outside want to look in and be like, oh, Gemini has it easy. Gemini doesn't have to try for anything. They don't see your struggles behind closed doors that you go through. Those of you that are in the spiritual community and you, you know, give readings or do some kind of you know divination or house blessings or energy clearings or anything like that, people People don't even realize all the spiritual attacks you go through, all the health issues you go through, um, you know, because spirit likes to break its healers down to build them back up stronger. OK, we got to remove all that gook that's gotten put on you from this world. OK, you need to be basically in um, the sub most supreme energy that you can be in. And yes, for that, we must strip you. I say it all the time. I always get the energy of spirit stripping you naked pretty much and then just scrubbing you. You know what I mean? Throwing some life's treatment on you to get the little bugs off of you. Like, bam! Kind of like Emerald. Bam! Okay? <laughs> Those of you that watch Emerald, you know. Okay? Anyways, I'm getting this energy here of like, Spirit has had to strip some of you guys down to where you're like, what is going on? My whole life is falling apart. I'm not seeing any growth. It's the darkness. Okay? You've been in that cocoon energy that we were picking up on the last reading. But a door is about to be unlocked. Okay? A door is opening here with this key. You have found the key, Gemini. Yes, I'm not getting the angry bird off of this one. I'm getting like blessings, good luck, wish fulfillment, okay? Messages that have been waiting to come in. And maybe those messages haven't been able to come in. Spirit maybe has like, you know, I'm getting like they turn like a little knob. Turn the, the speed down, turn the pace down, turn the volume down because Gemini still needs to learn something, go through something, release something, heal something, whatever that is. Some of you guys have passed a test recently. Yes, okay, especially with this dolphin energy, because I'm almost getting like uh spirit, especially with the sun and how it's got, oh, uh-oh, guys, hold on, blow that off, okay, we good, all right, so especially with the sun energy and the spiral that I'm getting, there's something here where it's like you had to go through some kind of lesson over and over and over again. Maybe you need to learn different facets of this lesson. Maybe you just didn't get it the first time. Maybe it wasn't sufficient enough. Maybe spirit was like, you know what? We're about to open this big blessing up for Gemini. Gemini about to make some bank. Okay, they're about to make some money. I need to make sure that their head is in the game. I need to make sure they're not just gonna give their energy to any little the cucaracha that comes their way, okay? Something like that, Gemini. Uh, I forgot to mention too, because the sun did come out with the turtle. Okay, and you know how I feel about the turtle energy. When the turtle is in its shell, it might be making some kind of spiritual energetic progress, you know, thinking, reflecting, whatnot, but it's not actually making any kind of physical process or progress, excuse me. So with this turtle energy, it just, it feels like it is, they're moving. You're moving, Gemini, okay? Some of you guys quite literally, and wherever you're moving to, hella abundant. There's something about somebody buying some land or moving somewhere that that energy is blessed, 
okay? Like it is blessed land, it's sacred land, and who, whoever governs that land, whatever spirits, whatever energy, whatever ancestors govern that land, they are okay with you being there basically. They're, okay. They're gonna bless you. It doesn't, you know, it's not like it's like cursed land where if you move there, you're cursed too. This is blessed land. So if you move there, you're blessed too. That's for some of you guys. Some of you might have salted the earth or done something to bless the energy around you. It helped. If some of you guys did some kind of manifestation ritual or money ritual or something like that, Gemini, it worked. Okay. It, it is working. So yeah, I feel like there's some kind of lesson that you passed or some kind of um, cycle that you cleansed out. This lesson came back around and it could have come back around in like a completely different form. Um, and so, and I have a feeling with this sun energy, sun's making me think of Leo. Um, you know, and also again, or not again, but excuse me, the solar chakra, it's making me feel like this could have been a lesson in your self-confidence. This could have been a lesson in your self-value, your self-worth. Okay, how you express yourself, what you deem um, worthy of your energy. Okay, and you pass some kind of test for sure, Gemini. Damn, Gemini. I was not, I was like, yeah, it's gonna be good news, but I was not expecting this. Okay, so good news, blessings for Gemini, please. Good news, blessings. Let's keep it moving. Good news and blessings. Okay. We got the karmic energy coming out. This is karmic feminine energy. For some of you guys, the blessing is that you defeated a karmic feminine. Okay? Doesn't have to be a, a, a man or a woman. This is just feminine energy. This is also my temptation card too. So Capricorn energy coming through with that devil energy. Yeah, Gemini, I, that's what I'm saying. Some of you guys, you passed a, a test here. Okay? Or some kind of lesson that came back around. Like you saw it for what it was. You were like, I'm outie. Okay, I'm good on that. And you bounce like a ball, all right? And there's something here where you resisted a temptation for sure. This was meant to bring some kind of like severe like storm in your life or chaos in your life. This would have definitely brought some chaos. This person, whoever this energy is, if you had to boot somebody recently, yeah, they mad. They were mad before. They're going to stay mad. They're always going to be mad. This is this type of person that's a perpetual victim of their circumstances. You know, oh, woe is me. Oh, my life is horrible. Oh, everything's going wrong. And there's nothing, listen, okay? I don't want to sound insensitive, right? I'm just like the type of person that it's like, yeah, we struggle. We go through pain. Can we try to find some positives? Can we keep it moving, okay? Because you don't want that energy to get stagnant. Life is hard. It's not meant to be easy. So if you come here thinking it's going to be a free ride and everything's going to be easy and you're never going to suffer any pain, never going to be any lessons, especially if you're in your chosen energy, especially if you're doing some kind of spiritual work, Gemini, you are sorely mistaken, but I don't feel like that's the majority of you. So I'm not going to lecture you. That could just be a handful of you, but there is that energy of you resisted a temptation from somebody who is a perpetual victim. They're always storming. They're always chaotic in their life. And they would have brought some kind of chaos to your life. Like it's okay to have a bad day right? It's okay to have a bad couple days. Shit, sometimes we even have a bad month, a bad season. But if life is always bad, if there's always chaos, if there's always a storm, if there's always something bad happening and you can't find any positives, you don't want to be around those people, Gemini, because they're going to bring your energy down. So some of you, yeah, there was a temptation that showed up and you were able to resist that temptation. Like, no, I'd rather be happy. I'd rather focus on the positives. I'd rather trust in the divine and know that, you know, something's, you know, out there looking out for me. I'm not on my own here. I'm not alone, you know? And if I am in any kind of darkness, it's because either I'm the light, hello, okay? I'm the light that's meant to shine or I'm in the cocoon stage and that just means I'm in the growing process. That's the kind of energy I feel like I'm picking up on. That's the group that I feel like I'm reading for right now. You know that if you're in the darkness, it's for a reason, either because you're growing or because you are that light that's meant to shine. The, the light doesn't go into the light, guys. Okay, that's gonna make absolutely no difference. The light goes into the darkness to shine. So if you are a light worker, you must expect to be put into the darkness, okay? Okay, blessings, please. Blessings for Gemini energy. Blessings and good news. Look. Wow. Coming right out on top of this dog far away. There is somebody for sure that is watching you. And this is uh, this is destined. This is inevitable. This person or this message. Because remember we saw that bluebird before. There's another bluebird. I feel like there was some kind of message, opportunity, offer, 
something that has been on the way to you for a minute, Gemini, and it's been locked up. The bird in this cage can't see the clock on the bottom. So for it, it doesn't know when the hell that the door is going to open up, but the door is going to open up and it kind of almost looks like it's on like a little spring trap. So as soon as it hits a certain time, the door automatically opens. It's giving that kind of energy. So there was definitely somebody who has been, there's definitely this energy of somebody who's been watching you for a minute. Okay. Or they've, you've been on their radar. For a minute this could again be in your community be in your job this could be in your family this could be even somebody who in your family has came into some money maybe they haven't told everybody or anybody okay and maybe they're looking for who they're going to help out or who they're going to leave things to i know that sounds kind of you know but that's just the reality of what i'm getting like somebody could have been looking at you like you know what i think i'd rather leave my wealth to gemini just because Gemini deserves it, they're going to do right by it. Um, you know, I don't know, somebody has seen your struggles. I'm getting that energy. Like somebody has seen your struggles. Look, confirmation. There's definitely a message that's been bottled up that's about to be released. So somebody could have been watching you like, damn, do I want to offer them this opportunity? Do we want to work with them? Do we want to collab with them? Um, do we want to progress this, move them to the next level? You know, somebody watching you, Gemini, and somebody is impressed, okay? Yeah, you about to get the tea. This is also my level up card, but you are, you're about to get the tea about this. This is something you haven't known. Some of you guys might've felt some kind of energy that's had eyes on you. And since you're so used to dealing with karmic bitches, I feel like there could be something where you're like, okay, this is just another karmic energy that's watching me. I can feel energy focused on me, especially for those who are very sensitive. Like if you're very spiritual, like you can feel people's emotions. You can feel what's going on. You don't have to be in their face. There's something here where it's like you felt this pressure of this energy that's focused on you. And yeah, not all of it's been great. We know that. Damn, we've been picking up in the fucking readings constantly, okay? There is some money coming in here. Read the fine print though. Always read the fine print. Always, even if it's a great opportunity where there's nothing that's wrong, read the fine print when it comes to some kind of cash that's coming your way, some kind of contract that's coming uh, your way. Yeah, something's up. sailing in. Okay, I'm getting that energy so strongly. I know that this can be the sail away card. This this energy could be sailing in and then you get to a sail away. Okay, that could definitely be this energy. Some of y'all might be given a boat or you're going to get a boat or um, you're going to have an opportunity to work on a boat. Take it as it resonates, okay? Um, the hourglass, again, it's a matter of time, Gemini. Something has been on the way. And, you know, when we think about boats and them traveling, especially sailboats, because that's what that is. It's a sailboat. We think about how they have to work with the wind. They have to work with the elements, right? This isn't like a speedboat that can just set its course and then just go at its own pace the entire way. If the, if the wind dies, the journey pauses for a second, okay? So I'm getting that kind of energy here where something has been on the way to you, but there's been pauses, there's been delays, there's been detours, okay? But the whole time, somebody has been watching. Now, we are definitely going to get some clarifiers here for sure, but I just want to see if there's anything. Else. Look, guys, you can't make this shit up, okay? And why would you? <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction, right? So there is this energy here of, again, somebody who has been watching you, possibly even documenting your growth, following your career, Gemini. Somebody could want to enter. It depends on what you do and what you're doing. Like, you know, somebody could want to interview you, something like that. I mean, these things happen, okay? Uh, years and years and years ago, um, and I, I wonder, since I'm thinking of my best friend, if she's going to watch this reading, because she doesn't watch every single reading I do. But whenever I mention her, for some reason, she's, she seems to watch that reading. So I wonder if she's going to watch this one. But my best friend, years and years and years ago, she fulfilled her dream of writing her first book. She's written tons since then, okay? And she actually helps people publish books, guys. So if you want help publishing a book or if you even need a ghostwriter or something like that, the link is in my bio. Anyways, because she is amazing. But anyway... <clears throat> Years and years and years ago, she fulfilled her dream of writing her first book. And she actually had the local newspaper reach out to her. She was completely floored and shocked. She was like, how did I even get on their radar? How do they even know who I am? You know, so it could be something like that that's happening to you, Gemini, where you're like, how would they even know who I am? Or how would they 
recognize me. It could be word of mouth. If you're on social media, that is definitely a big way that these people, this person could have came across you, Gemini. If you're in your community, maybe somebody overheard you. Again, word of mouth, okay? So you could have told somebody something that you do. Oh yeah, I make these candles. And you know, this person was like, oh, I'll buy one. They bought one and then they showed it to this person who then showed it to this person. And that person was like, oh wow, that's amazing, okay? Something like that. Somebody definitely wants to come in, Gemini. They want to give you some affection. They want to give you some kind of love. Somebody wants to give you your flowers. Again, recognition coming in. And this is definitely um, sanctioned by the ancestors. Or again, you have that good karma, that good uh, energy that's on you because of this. This could definitely be a divine masculine that wants to reach out to you. Or this is happening to a divine masculine. Take it as it resonates, okay? Either way, with that divine masculine energy, that's going to put you in your emperor energy. You're going to have to strategize, move some things around clear your schedule okay i'm getting that energy of like i'm gonna have to fucking maneuver some things okay some of you already have okay now this is another message i'm getting let me get some water guys because <clears throat> i'm talking a lot okay some of you guys could already have like three four five jobs all right and when this comes in this is going to take up a lot of your time like that is might be where you need to read the fine print on this is like it's going to take up a lot so you are not going to be able to have two three four five jobs anymore you might have to cut some things loose stop some things put some things on pause you know tell your clients you're taking a break take it as it resonates whatever it is for you okay you're gonna have to do something like that because this is going to take up a lot of your energy a lot of your focus or it's just going to be so busy so say you do um, have a nine to five job and then you do something on the side like you create something okay or you provide some kind of service gemini that side job might take off so severely and radically that it's like oh i got to jump on this boat we saw the boat i got to jump on this boat now because if i don't this boat's just gonna sail away right you're just gonna watch it go okay by you and you're like i need to jump on this boat so you might have to end up like you know telling your nine to five either i have to have less hours or i have to quit period because i have to focus on this <laughs> like i'm sorry opportunity calls i must answer all right <laughs> there's something about that okay for sure all right let's get the question okay the yes or no question no need to worry wow okay so gemini if there has been something, especially, damn sure, especially financially for you, okay? I'm getting the energy of like somebody's hair falling out or getting gray or just, you know, you're stressed. You got dark circles in your eyes. You're up all night going over your finances. Like, yep, I'm still broke, right? Like you're going over them trying to get different numbers. Not the same fucking number and it's broke. That's the number. Broke, okay? For some of you guys. If that is the case here, okay? There's no need to worry. Something is about to come in and just replenish your finances, reboost you, or put you onto the path that you want to be on, you need to be on, okay? And this is a little hedgehog here in the middle. Um, hedgehog energy, for me, is about when you, because they ball up, right? When they're, um, they're scared or they're feeling defensive. Some of you guys have been tense. You haven't been able to relax, okay and i do feel like you've been maybe a little prickly too like maybe a little bit like you know you're like geez gemini you need to relax and you're like you think okay so there could have been something here where you've just been stressed and i do feel like there's no need to worry in this situation gemini something is about to come your way or something you're in the uh you know the trajectory basically like you're in alignment for something amazing I, I mean you know I, I you know you guys know how I am I am realistic as fuck okay but I feel this energy so strongly I feel like there's somebody wants to reach out to you doors are opening there's some kind of recognition like wealth is coming here for somebody all right <clears throat> excuse me so let's go ahead and see this dolphin energy the, with this uh, this V for victory, okay? And then the key. We have the justice that just wanted to pop out. Libra energy. Some of this could be happening in Libra season or by Libra season. You're going to be feeling it really strongly. Um, 
And then the Three of Cups, Gemini. So yeah, this is positive. Three of Cups with the Justice energy, that's like a celebration. That's defeating something, okay? Because we saw it anyways, against all odds, beating the odds. Some of you guys could have to go to court. Somebody could have been trying to sue you. Somebody could have been trying to get some kind of extra money or something from you. Like I'm getting the energy of somebody who gets alimony, they get child support, and now they just want to get just because, okay? This is the just because fucking uh, fun that they want to get from you. Like somebody has been trying to drain you of your finances in court that is for somebody okay um somebody might also there could be something here where something gets thrown out and that's the blessing because i'm getting the energy of somebody who maybe has been keeping a court thing going so it's like every time i go to court i gotta pay like a couple thousand for my lawyer and i i, I gotta do this and, that, and look i take off work and shit i almost lost my job because of this like this person is like ruining my life okay like i'm getting that kind of energy i feel like a judge is about to see this and be like why has this been to court 20 times this is ridiculous we're gonna go ahead and make a final judgment here or we're gonna throw this out and this is done so there's something here where the tide is about to turn when it comes to a court battle, okay? And you are gonna be celebrating. This could be you and your legal team. This could be you, your legal team, and your friends, okay? Um, <clears throat> if this is something in regards to a contract, yeah, somebody's gonna wanna come towards you and they're gonna wanna collab with you, Gemini, very strongly. We see that anyways out here. Somebody definitely wants to collab. I love how this reading is so cohesive because we have the judgment on top of beating all the odds. And then over here, we have somebody watching you with the collab card, okay? Um, okay, we'll get there in a second, but I am getting a quick message of somebody who saw you as a come up and uh, you recognize that and yeah, okay? What's the key, the, the door, the key? that Gemini is being granted. What door is this opening for Gemini? Oh, look, seven of Pentacles. okay? I feel like you've been really sad or again, really lost, okay? Or you've been depleting your finances. Um, again, you've been going over your fucking uh, finances every single night and the answer is still broke in this bitch. Like I'm trying really hard. Like I'm already working several jobs. Some of you guys could just be trying your hardest and it doesn't seem like you're getting anywhere, okay? So the key that's about to open is you're about to be able to put some money into your savings. You're about to see some kind of growth. If you've been working really hard on something, you're about to see some kind of growth, okay? I'm getting a really bad nauseous feeling suddenly too. So for me, that's always somebody um, who's had some kind of either spiritual work that's been done on them or some kind of um, manipula like heavy manipulation. So there could have been something here again with that justice energy. Somebody could have swore they had this in the bag, like let's go and toast, yay, right? Whatever we did under the moon or whatever we did in the darkness behind closed doors, it's coming to pass. We're about to fuck Gemini. Yay. Okay. But I feel like that's not actually about to happen. Something's about to turn and shift massively in your favor. Whatever was locked is about to open Gemini. Okay. So if somebody's been out here doing, okay, that must've been the message I was supposed to give because the sickness feeling went away. Um, if somebody has been out here trying to, I don't know, smear your good name, fuck with your finances, doing something weird under the moon, okay, trying to fucking dig into what your energy, yeah, that's about to backfire, okay? And spirit might have frozen something for a second. Like I said, sometimes people, people don't like to hear that, but sometimes spirit will let you be spiritually attacked. And that is because it's gonna either make you stronger, which is important for wherever you're going. You need to be tough, you need to be strong, you need to be able to take a hit spiritually and physically it's important if you're like built if you're a house made of feathers the first little wind that comes through bam you're done okay so spirit had to build a brick house basically is what i'm getting okay some of y'all could be built like a brick house or that could also be a blessing coming in as your body is shifting girl boy you're getting you're getting hotter okay you're looking good okay there's something about that for somebody you're eating right you're moving around your energy's just popping there's something there with that but anyways, yes, this door here, okay? A door opening to finances, a door opening to growth, a door opening to more security. Some of you have been working on mastering something. You're about to get certified, licensed, trained, something. Some of you guys, if you found a mentor, this is gonna do you well, okay? To learn from somebody who's been there before or has done it before, okay? I'm getting like money guru or something like that, okay? That's just what I'm getting. Yeah, hermit energy wanting to come through. This is definitely a door that spirit has opened for you. That's my spirit card. And this is also something, again, where you've had to learn. 
okay? So if the door was closed, it was because you had to learn something in order for the, do the door to open, okay? And this could, again, be getting certified in something, getting licensed, um, mastering something. For sure, you spent a lot of time focusing on something, critiquing some kind of uh, skill that you have, okay? You've been very critical of yourself. This is about to uh, do you well, Gemini. Oh yeah, you about to see some massive results. Some of you guys have been spending a lot of time isolated, a lot of time alone, working long hours. I feel like you've been drawn into this energy intuitively, okay? And you're about to see some kind of payoff in regards to this. All right, <clears throat> the basket with the money path and the, uh, ooh, the king of swords, he, he wanted to pop, right? Um, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm hearing, I don't got no type, bad bitches is the only thing that I like, okay? So that is for somebody some of y'all don't got no type you just like bad bitches male or female i don't know okay that is for somebody or there was maybe you're seeing that that's a problem oh that reminds me i got a really big intuitive message the other day for gemini i just didn't put it out there gemini spirit doesn't want you to look for people that are exciting right look for these people that are going to keep you know you you entertained and excited and people who are um you know super super attractive and all that like that you know you need somebody calm you need somebody patient you need somebody who is predictable okay because you can be kind of unpredictable two unpredictable people in a relationship chaos so some of you might feel like maybe you've walked away from somebody you turn somebody down or oh, they're a little too boring or a little too predictable they, they think a little too deep I don't want to think deep. I want to have fun. You know, I want to go drive my car fast and I want to go, um, you know, do all this stuff that's fun and all this bullshit. You know, I don't know. There could be something like that. And Spirit's like, you need somebody predictable. You need somebody steady. You need somebody who's like a mountain in your life. Okay. So that is for somebody. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Anyways, let's get something out for this basket, this money path. But yeah, some of you guys, you, you're done with the bad bitches or I don't know. I, there's something about that. Oh, Lord. I'm not even going to say that because I don't want to offend anybody. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm like, yeah. So <clears throat> some of you guys did definitely choose to break free, go your own way for sure. Okay. Um, and, and that because of that, Gemini, you're starting out on like this new journey. You're starting out on a new path. I'm getting that very strongly here, okay? So there is a brand new path that you are about to walk on or you have chosen to walk on. Again, with this boat that's, that's here. It's like there's this energy here where this boat is coming, Gemini. Are you going to jump on this shit or what? Okay, look, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some kind of finances or wealth that's coming with this new beginning, this money path. It's waiting for you to find it. But it could take some kind of risk. It could take like a leap of faith or allowing some kind of massive change to happen in your life with these hawks that are flying around. I do feel like spirit has been telling you about this for a while, but also for me, the hawk is talking about a higher perspective, okay? So there could be something here where Gemini, spirit has been asking you to look at something with a higher perspective for a while. Now, what is this temptation that Gemini has um, defeated? I wanna know about that really quickly. Oh, damn, it flew guys. And I do <laughs> take my cards up off the floor. Some people don't because they think their floor is dirty. My floors are clean, first of all. Okay? <laughs> so I do take my cards off the floor. But anyways, uh, death energy, Scorpio, okay? Yeah, this is somebody who is really underhanded. This is somebody who was not showing on the surface level what their intentions were. Okay, so Scorpio with the temptation, that's somebody who's definitely trying to get you, I don't know, digmatized or something like that, okay? Um, male or female, take it as it resonates, that's just the saying, okay? Somebody who is trying to kind of um, woo you or this could even be somebody who's trying to get a sympathetic like ear, like, oh God, everything's horrible, everything's rough, I, I can't do this, I can't do that. Can you loan me $500, right? It's <laughs> something like that for somebody, okay? Um, but whatever this temptation is, you, this is something that again, it was a cycle it kept coming back around it may be different spaces different faces but you recognized it instantly is the energy i'm getting gemini okay you recognize this you're like mm, that's a little familiar that's uh giving i've already been there done that got the t-shirt okay you decided to cut this loose death energy okay 13th could be significant. Some of y'all did this on the 13th or you're born on the 13th, Gemini. Yeah, you sailed away. Okay, that's the big sail away card. And you decided to give that love to yourself. You decided to fill your own cup up, Gemini. 
okay so whatever this temptation is it was meant to take you off your path it was meant to cut and it was again very smoky very cloudy here there's something here with that i've never noticed before i noticed that there's a cat down there but i've never noticed what they're doing and i just noticed for the first time they're killing a little mouse or a little rat okay so there could have been somebody who was a rat in your life somebody was trying to get information or trying to steal your cheese because that's what rats and mice do they steal your cheese okay um there could have been somebody who was just yeah rat chit okay <laughs> i'm getting that energy and i feel like you you know maybe you weren't sure if you should sever this or not but you did I feel like it was a clean cut and you carterized that shit, okay? <laughs> There's something about that. This person could have definitely been sending some kind of bad juju your way or, you know, again, if this person did divination or, or is was into that or something, Gemini, they were doing something like that possibly, okay? They could have been putting some kind of um, bad energy on you. They could have been pulling cards on you when they had no business doing that. They could have been... Um, spreading lies about you rumors okay trying to get other people to point fingers at you for sure like look at gemini look at them over there relaxing doing good being abundant clearly they don't deserve that clearly they got that by some kind of ill intent like it's something like that like somebody definitely had negative energy towards you because you're the empress male or female because you're abundant because your spirit's pie because spirit looks out for you you have ancestors spirit guides right okay and I feel like your ancestors guard you. They're like, get away from me, crabby bitch. Like, there's something about that. <laughs> this could have been a cancer or somebody who has, like, their moon in cancer or something. Or a very strong cancerian place in Gemini, okay? I don't know. They're just crabby. They're, you know, like, life is always doing something to them. And again, we already talked about that, so we're not going to go through it again. We're not perpetual victims around here. We can be victimized from time to time, sure. But we're not a victim, Okay. So your ancestors were like, get back, get back. You don't know me like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Why you all in my ear talking a whole bunch of shit that I ain't trying to hear? Get back, get back. You don't know me like that, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> boom, boom. And another one. Yeah. <laughs> Like that with another one gemini i'm telling you you saw this coming you're like nah i'm good i got enough personalities on my own i don't need your 50 million ones coming my way so you cut this loose whatever this temptation was you're like get back get back you don't know me like that okay let's go ahead and move forward guys okay this person is definitely feeling a little out in the cold you put this person out in the cold too you know i don't know what to say gemini you know you were like, c'est la vie, all right? <laughs> There's something about that, like, fly, little bird, bitch, fly. I don't know, guys. Okay, that's the energy I'm getting. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, so this recognition that's coming Gemini's way. Really quickly, and then we're going to move on. <laughs> this recognition, okay? Um, so some of you guys, this could be um, some kind of communication that's coming in. This could just be an energetic recognition from spirit and with, with energy, of energy boost okay with spirit boosting your energy or with this good energy on you you are naturally a magnet for blessings okay i feel like it's too many to name there's too many of y'all to get really specific here that's why it's kind of generalized but i do get this energy of like your energy is really good some of you guys are coming out of that energy of feeling conflicted feeling down feeling heavy like we talked about the six of swords comes after the five of swords the five of swords is when you're eating for me personally as a reader when you're eating yourself up when you're tearing yourself apart you're overthinking over stressing highly critical of yourself over analyzing okay you're not doing that anymore. So with this clear energy, it's coming clear thoughts, clear manifestations. Some of you guys, again, communication is going to come in. Some of y'all could get interviewed, um, asked for to be on a podcast or something, or, you know, just a phone call, an email is going to come through. Let's find out about this collab that's coming your way with this bag, this dog far away, okay? The star. Wow, guys, Aquarius energy coming through. So we have Libra, Aquarius. We have Aquarius twice out here with the Fool for me. The Fool is also Aries for me. Scorpio. I did see Capricorn. Cancerian we mentioned. Okay. Leo with the Sun. Wow. Okay. The Star. Yeah. Somebody sees you as a star. Or somebody wants to know about your story. 
maybe this could even be like type of energy of like you didn't realize you were talking to somebody who knows like an editor of a magazine or somebody who does interviews on their YouTube or something like that. You didn't realize this, okay? Or you are put you put out content or there's something in your community that you do, Gemini, or something at your job you're doing very well, whatever it is, right? You're shining. You have come on to somebody's radar. It's funny, the world card is showing up again. The world also is not just sail away. It's also success, okay? So I feel like there's something here where some of you guys are gonna be worldwide, okay? Or you're gonna be shipping worldwide soon. Maybe you've only been shipping domestic soon. You're about to be international, Gemini. That's for some of you guys. Um, you know, there could be a transfer or something where you're transferring and getting relocating. That's for some of you guys with the star energy. I did get the energy of a starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I, I wish I may, I wish I might, okay? Have this wish that I wish tonight, okay? So some of you guys, there could be something here where you made some kind of wish that's coming to pass and your energy is potent, okay? Look at that. There could have been a Pisces that fucked around and found out too. That's just on some side shit, okay? And that is definitely a blessing because I feel like this person was just annoying as fuck, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody looks at you like a star. Somebody is looking at you. So what I was saying before, you could have been talking to somebody, told somebody your woes, okay? Told them your life story and they were like, wow. And then they're having coffee with somebody. You know how people talk like, oh my God, I was talking to this person earlier. They told me this, 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 and that person's like, that, that sounds like a, a book. That sounds like an interview. That sounds like a movie. That sounds like something like, you know what I mean? And so they want to reach out to you. That is for somebody. That's not for everybody. Some of you who have already written a book or you're writing a book where you're telling your life story. I feel this very strongly. Okay. If you're doing something like that, or you've been compelled to do something like that, do it, Gemini, because somebody is going to read this that is important in the in the essence of that they can open you up to opportunities they are going to feel like your story is worth telling it's worth sharing something i'm stuttering y'all i got all i'm getting all excited okay <laughs> i feel like this person wants to work with you work it out work on it okay perfect something again <laughs> okay who is this person that's been watching gemini who is this person, Gemini? Well, this person is from a distance, okay, which we already see that anyways with the dog far away. This is definitely somebody that's watching from a distance. This is somebody that's like mystified. Look at this ancestor here. Now they're like, oh my God, right? <laughs> Great Scott, isn't that from uh, Back to the Future? I don't know, there's something about that too, Back to the Future. This is something you've been doing for a while, but you're about to get, like your past is your future. So something that you've been doing in your past you're about, it's going to be something that's prolific in your future. That's for somebody, whoever this is, they could be a fire sign. They could be an Aquarius for sure. Okay. Heavy Aquarius out here. Heavy, heavy Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who's going to, again, open up some kind of financial wealth for you. They're just going to come and offer you something, Gemini. And whatever they offer you, it is going to put you in this state of independence or financial security here where you don't got to worry. Yeah, all you got to do is sit back and manifest. This could definitely be a feminine energy fire sign, like I had said, that has strong Aquarius in their chart or Aries. Okay. If this person that sits back and watch you again, they could have read your story or they're paying attention. They're studying up on something that you're doing, Gemini. They're very interested in whatever it is that you're doing. This person could uh, watch you after they get off of work or they could watch you on their leisure time or something. This person is very abundant. So if this is somebody who comes towards you that wants to collab that's broke, no offense, guys, because we've all been there. I'm just saying for this reading, if this is somebody who wants to collab and they're broke, this is not that person. Okay, this is not that person. Whoever this person is, they got it like that. Okay, this is definitely somebody who's got it like that. And it's going to be plain to see heavy Leo energy. I told you a fire sign for sure. A fire sign with heavy Aquarius in their chart. Or this person's just a free thinker with that Aquarius energy. They're humanitarian. They're a free thinker. They like to help. Um, this is going to be a tower. It's going to be a tower that this person's actually watching you. It's also going to be a tower to your hating ass bird bitch that's stuck on you, that's watching you, that's swearing you ain't shit. Yeah. It's going to be a wake up call for them when they find out that, yeah, yeah. When they find out that you're going to get some recognition or you're going to make it or you are making it or you're successful, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Okay. But that's what I'm getting. 
This person is definitely going to have money or some kind of abundance. This person also could have some kind of special skill or talent that they do themselves. This person is manifesting you. I feel like at first they, they were energetically manifesting you. Like they didn't realize that they were manifesting you. Now I feel like they realize that. Okay, now that they've, you've caught their eye, now they're like, yes, okay, so they're making plans, they're strategizing, they're thinking about how they want to introduce themselves to you, okay? They could be watching you go through a lot of battles, they could be watching you defeat a lot of people, there could have also been something where there was some kind of silent competition going on here, you didn't realize that you were competing for something because you didn't even know about this, but yes, there were other candidates that were being, um, you know, looked over, or maybe, uh, what is that word? Like it's a possibility, right? That these other people could get this position or get this opportunity or this collab or whatever this is instead. But I feel like you're gonna beat out the competition, Gemini, because there's just something about your energy. All right. I'm gonna pull from this deck. Advice and additional messages from my Gemini gang. It's been a little bit of a longer reading, but it's okay, guys. I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying not to get caught up on the times of the readings. It just is what it is. And this is such a positive one. Like, come on, okay? Choose your words carefully. Look with the key that came out. So some of you guys, if you are in some kind of big court battle or something like that, yes, it's imperative that you choose your words carefully. Don't be up there to the judge like, I don't give a fuck about this bitch. They're ratchet. They're this. You know, whatever. Okay, don't do that. All right. And if you do have something going on with court and this person tries to get you through text messages or on the phone or even in person, you can have a little bug, you know, like they're recording you or something. If this person trying to get you to react, trying to get you to say some vile things, do some things, right? Because they know you, Gemini. They know that that switch can flip just like that. And it's like, you know, you can cuss them out, their mama out. Okay. Um, so watch your words if there's somebody who you're in some kind of battle with right now because they could be trying to get you to fuck up and slip up and say something where the judge is going to look at you like well you know you don't seem very mature either saying that you're gonna hit him over the head with the shovel and you know just where you're gonna put their body and like all them like you don't look very mature either gemini okay so just watch how you're talking to somebody even if you feel like it's just us we're, you know, it's just us in the room. It's just us alone. They might be recording you. Okay. I'm just saying. That's a message from spirit. That's, that's advice. Yeah, serpent. This person can be sly and subtle with how they're recording you or what they're trying to do. Somebody could be trying to build a case against you. So don't give them anything to work with, Gemini. Basically. Okay. This is a new beginning card. Okay. This is like the title card for me. So yeah, a brand new beginning with that full energy, okay? Forces beyond your control intervene. We already saw with the hourglass, something is just meant to be. It's inevitable. It's a, just a matter of time. It's not if, it's just when, okay? So there is something here. And there could have been a full cycle that's passed with all these um, zodiac signs. There could have been a full year calendar of something that you've been going through or something that's passed. Um, before this opportunity has finally gotten to you, okay? Because I feel that very strong with the key that yes, this door is opening, okay? So that's like my full card, full on top of a full, yes, a brand new beginning, a brand new opportunity, a brand new path, a brand new timeline for you to jump onto. And spirit's causing you to jump on this timeline, okay? Because it says forces beyond your control, meaning you can't control this change, Gemini. It's coming. And I would say whether you like it or not, but I feel like you are going to like it. But for some of you, there could be something where you have to let go of something. Okay. This temptation too, I'm getting this message. It might not be necessarily a person. It could be a thing. Like maybe you have a job that pays really well and you're like, yeah, I could go after this opportunity, but it's a, it's not for certain, for sure. Like my paycheck is don't be tempted into what's easy or what's predictable. Okay, when it comes to the job stuff, not when it comes to the person. Okay, I'm not saying you should go after an easy person, but I just feel very strongly, Gemini, that somebody predictable, somebody that you can trust, somebody that's safe, yes, that is what you need when it comes to love, okay? Somebody want me to do a new love reading too, guys? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys because I don't, I don't really... I'm not a love reader. I don't really look, I'm not checking for love like that. Like love decks are never even out. I always have to dig those out. I don't even pull for that in my own private life, okay? So if y'all want a new love reading, let me know. I am here to serve you, okay? I will give you a love reading, but I, I need to know that y'all want it. I might do a poll because I'm really not sure, okay? 
bright new prospects are on the horizon. We were just talking about that with the credits card. Something might have to end first, Gemini, okay, with this uh, serendipity. But it is meant to be. It is very meant to be. Look, spirit doubling down on this message here. Time is of the essence. It's only a matter of time, Gemini. Something's going to happen. And I am getting the message for some of you guys. If you're meant to leave something behind, a person, a place, a thing, and you haven't yet, the message is this will end whether you like it or not. So you can end it by your own control or you can have us end it. And when we end it, we just end it, okay? Like it's just a tower goes kabooey, okay? So for some of you guys, that might be the case here. We have the sun on the bottom of the deck, double Leo energy, okay? Your perseverance is being rewarded, Gemini. So everything you've been working for, again, you've been working really hard on something. You've been continuing to fight, not giving up. Yeah, okay? Yeah. One more, because this reading's already long enough. Look, you cannot make this up. I love this freaking reading, okay? And this is my social media, y'all. This is my social media or internet card where somebody's scrolling. It always just looks like a phone screen to me. With the golem, a close friend acts on your behalf. I'm telling you that somebody that wants to reach out to you, that wants to work with you, Gemini, or wants to provide something for you. I'm telling you that. I have never felt a message more strongly in my life, okay? And the fact that it all keeps coming up right here, I swear that's what's happening, okay? Uh, somebody has been maybe keeping themselves hidden, maybe keeping themselves masked. They have not introduced themselves into your energy yet. Um, for some of you, they may have just done this, okay? But for others of you, this is something that's about to happen. This person wants to work with you, okay? I feel that so strongly. All right, guys, that has been your reading. I do hope that it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.